Hi, welcome back to Laptop Seniors. We're so happy to have you back. You are going to be in for a treat if you're interested at all in learning about Bouquete, Panama. Pat and I have been working on a series of eight videos. We're going to be walking, driving, exploring um, homes, exploring restaurants, exploring attractions. You will learn so much about this incredible town in Panama. Okay, where do we start? Let's look at this. This is a picture from high up on a hill in the Jaramillo district, looking down on the town of Boquete, the specific town, and I'll go into that in just a second. As you can see, it sits in a valley, and around it is obviously mountains, as you can see. If you look up on the you know, top right up here, Okay, there's people, you know, a lot of houses and other things where people live looking down on the town and it goes up right to the top and certainly beyond that. Same thing up here where they go up into these mountains and there's a ton of mountains on this side, on the right hand side of this screen that you cannot see where it goes up very, very high and for a long distance. So this is where a lot of people live and they also live in Alto Boquete, which is south of the particular Boquete town you travel down this road, the main road, which I'm going to show you, and you'll come to where you go up a winding road. It comes up out of the valley, and then you're in Alto Boquete, and that's how you go to David. And that's a really large area, Alto Boquete. A ton of people live there, too. So a lot of people live here, but the town itself is very, very, very small. As you can see, I just want to make you aware of that. So let's move on and I'll show you a little bit more. Okay, let's get a better overview of Boquete and we're on Google Maps at the moment and this is roughly the Boquete area, this entire thing that you see on the screen here. But right here is actually the town of Boquete. Right, sorry, these things keep popping up. You know, from roughly here to this curve in the road where, where that 41 is, okay? This is the town that most people would be considering Boquete. But all of this area is essentially Boquete. This is Alto Boquete, which is down here, and this is Bajo Boquete, which is you know above the town itself. And let me just zoom in a little bit more so you can kind of see a little bit better. So, see, this is the town right here. Let me back out right because this curve is significant. Between this curve and where it says Boquete Brewing Company, this is the town from there to there. And this is only a, know, around two kilometers, uh, maybe a little bit longer than that, or like two and a quarter or something like that. But this is essentially like a mile and a half. That's it for the town. If I go in really a lot closer than that, you can see that there's not many streets here. Here's the main street that goes right up. And let's just count over from the water. This is the river, the Caldera River right here. And there's the bridge. So you got basically the street that's on the river. So one over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then you're kind of pretty much you're out of town. Definitely walking distance. You can get in from you know walk in from there, but I mean you're only talking six or seven streets over, six or seven blocks, and you're done. And again, from going right back at the bottom, where let me zoom back out again you know, for where that curve was right here. And I'll show you that curve during this video because we're going to take a ride right down through here and right up this road. So the question is, where are we going to ride today? Well, we're going to be out on the road from David leading into Boquete. We'll give you a, a decent amount of that to get a feel for it. It's an easy drive if you're sort of wary of driving, you know, from David, renting a car there and driving to Boquete. It's nothing, really. It's really an easy drive. Anyway, so the drive is going to be out on this highway, and we're going to drive into Boquete, down the hill, through Boquete. We're going to turn at the park, the main you know, plaza there, and we're going to go a couple streets to the right, and then keep going north on one of the streets there, and go out of town. And when we get to this fork in the road here, we're going to stop. That'll be the trip today. And it'll be a nice trip, I think, for you to see, and you get a feel for, okay, this is Boquete. Let's get on the road. This is the road that leads between David and Boquete. We're pretty close to Boquete right now. I mean, at the moment, this is the Alto Boquete, and there's people that live on both sides of this road, and there's restaurants on this road. 
and businesses on this road and condos, which you can see just on the right there, that building right on the right, that's a condo building right there. Kind of a nice one too. And of course they live up in the mountains, Jaramillo, which is on the right hand side where that mountain range sort of is. And they go all the way up the mountain and over the mountain, beautiful homes there. So we're coming up on the hill. There's a winding little road that you're going to see that winds down into the town of Boquete. And there's that famous Boquete sign that everybody takes pictures of, including us. <laughs> All right, here we go down the hill. You probably get a feel for the hilly terrain around here. It's really gorgeous, especially on a really nice day like today. Kind of wish I took that circle off the windshield though. <laughs> Didn't realize that was there. So this is just about to flatten out as we're coming down the hill. And you can see the town of Boquete just off in the distance there. Again, a really small town. And this is the main road in and the main road out of town. And this is where there's a pretty fair amount of restaurants on this road and a couple places to stay. A lot of Boquete is Airbnb type things. There's not a huge amount of hotels here. If you look at the signs, you can see that there's restaurants right here. We just passed one. Another one's gonna be coming up on the left. For making friends here, it becomes very easy if you're an expat. Every Tuesday at, I believe around four o'clock, might've been three o'clock, there's an expat happy hour. And there's a lot of people who live in this area. They come out and, and gather and hang out with each other because everybody's friends. And if you're new, um, you get embraced immediately as, hey, thanks for moving or you're visited. What do you want to know? We'll tell you anything about it tell you where that restaurant is. It's coming up on the left. It's right about there. It's right on the left here where that blue building was. And you would turn in right there to the left. This bus is obviously from David, Boquete to David and back, and it's going to stop and take people on or let people off up where we're going to turn at the park, um, sort of the, the area that everybody congregates. It's like a plaza. Neat little mall coming up here on the left. Sugar and Spice is coming up here, which is a nice little restaurant on the right. But this mall here has, uh, as I recall, three or four little restaurants in there, and they're really nice. Sushi place, a couple other things. That's on the left. You may or may not notice here, people are pretty polite for the driving. This is one of the few gas stations in town. There's this one and we passed one coming in and that's pretty much it until you get out on the road going toward Alto Boquete. This is supposed to be a, right there where the construction is going on the right. That's supposed to be a big grocery store going in there. Tough to make out what you're seeing on the right and on the left here, but a lot of those are restaurants. There's a lot of restaurants in this town. Just to the left where those two guys are walking, go down that way and there's a big grocery store. Pretty decent size, not right? I wouldn't call it big. This is the plaza I was telling you about. This is where the buses stop and let people off. Again, another restaurant on the right. 
this plaza is a good place to get a SIM card. If you're wondering about if you happen to land at David at the airport there and rent a car and drive up, that plaza, there's a, a phone little store there and they'll give you SIM cards. And uh, they get all the brands. Very helpful, speak English. They'll set it up for you, it's great. Young guys. Young people, no matter where you go in the world, they're always bilingual for English. It's just the way it is, which is great. Now, one of the other main grocery stores here is called Romero's, and we're going to make this left-hand turn here. If you look forward, see that structure there, that beige thing? That's the bridge that goes over the Caldera River and gets you to the other side. A lot of homes over there, a lot of living there. This is Romero's. This is the grocery store. It's not super huge, but again, it's not small, and everything you need is going to be in there. This is a lot of shopping, typical stuff for a town. Now, when we first came here 10 years ago, my impression was that, because I had seen a, a, a video just like this, and where it was a guy on a motorcycle, and it was great, and I assumed that, oh, there's lots of roads like this. You know, the main road and this one, oh, there, there's probably 10, 9, 20 of them. But they're home. They're not. There's only two. It's this one and the other one. That's it. All the rest are little tiny little side roads with basically houses on them for the most part. So these are the two main roads. So I, you know, I just want to point all that out in this video because it's very small. Restaurants on the left, church on the right. And if you look forward, which we're going to go by, up where that red roof is, that's sort of where it starts, where it's restaurant after restaurant after restaurant after restaurant. And they're all really good restaurants. Plus, there's a bunch of them off to the left. These are pretty high-end restaurants, actually. You know, in, in U.S. terms, they would probably be costing twice as much as what they cost for what you're getting. Great meals, huge amount of food, beautiful decor, all of that stuff. You know, home, you're going to be paying, I don't know, 70 bucks. Here, you're paying 35, 40. barbecue place coming up, La Posada, and, and on the left-hand side there is a, an Italian restaurant that was really nice also. I don't know if you can appreciate it totally from just watching this, but there's definitely a slower way of life here. And, and, and I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean, everybody's just like, nobody's pushing. It's like, yeah, whatever. Well, we get there, we'll get there. It's all good. You know, like if this was like New York City or some other place, horns would be, would be blazing, but they wouldn't be here. Where that cab is going, there's the Panamonte Inn, which is a beautiful hotel, restaurant, and all that other stuff. More restaurants coming up here. There's another sort of like a secondary restaurant row starting right around this area. This one. This one. The one behind that. Another one here. Again, there's a lot of restaurants in this town, which when we came 10 years ago, none of these existed. There was maybe, I don't know, six or seven. And now, from my understanding is, there's 70 plus <laughs> restaurants. And they're all good. So right now, we're riding out of the town of Boquete. I mean, even though this is still Boquete, yes, where they live, well, I live in Boquete. But 
you know, the town ended pretty much on that fork in the road there, uh, where I said Panamonte Inn. But there's a lot of cool stuff out here too, and there's more restaurants and definitely housing, coffee houses and other stuff. There's actually like a coffee plantation um, you know, store for the plantation itself where they sell their own coffee and you can go half a coffee there. All different kinds of coffee you know that they grow and uh, different grinds different roasts you know French roast dark roast light roast that kind of stuff As you'll notice, you're going higher here. We're going up toward the mountain. We're going up into the mountain, actually. Restaurant. And up in these mountains, which are really neat, um, it's almost like you're in wine country, except it's coffee. So a lot of coffee plantations up there. Uh, Ladera is one that uh, comes to mind uh, that's up there, and uh, which is a great place to visit. And this is the end of our uh, little trip here. I hope that gave you a nice feel for what it's like you know, to drive through and what Boquete is actually going to be like when you show up here. Boquete, Panama. This is just the tip of the iceberg. So be sure if you have not subscribed to do that, click the bell so you'll be notified when the next one drops. And as we said, there's at least eight in this series and you're gonna wanna catch them all. You will feel like you've been here. Thanks for joining us and come back and see us again soon. Bye for now. Ooh.